Today, guys, I'm going to show you a whole range of different item filter systems behind me here. These will work for any item in the game of Minecraft. Now, a few things to say. I've compiled these from other people's item filter systems. Links to their videos in description. If you want a world download, there is a link to that in the description as well for these item filters, and you can then see them first up. I'm also going to go and show you guys like a little overview of each system before we jump into it. Down in the comments and also in the description, there will be timestamps. This video has chapters for each of these, so you can skip on to whichever bit is most relevant to you once you know the pros and cons for each of them. So that's it, let's get into it and see which item filter system you want to build. First up we have system 1A. This is your bog standard item filter in Minecraft. As you can see, each module of this is relatively simple to build. I will go into how you can build more of them and have extra storage and things like that in a moment. But first let's take a look at the materials required for system 1A. So here they are on screen. Now the top line right here, these are the items that you need per module and these here are the things you're going to need extra of. So what I mean by that is the items per module are for each of these little bits here for each item that you're going to have filtered and the extra bits are for the line of hoppers that you're going to need here and the extra chest that you might want for extra storage per item and eventually a chest as well for the things that don't get filtered so this is for just stackable items such as cobblestone diamonds gold all that sort of stuff anything that doesn't get stacked so that might be like your swords or your ender pearls things like that they will end up in the dump chest on the end so that's system 1a we'll go into that in more detail if you click on the 1A link in the timestamps. Next up here, we have System 1B. Now, these are 1A and 1B because they are both for your stackable items. There's just two different ways of doing it. Again, we'll look at the materials for this first, and you can see the different materials that you're going to require here. Now, these materials along the top here, they are for building this bit right here, which no matter how big or small you make the system, you will require those materials to get you started. Then we have the second line of materials here, and again, this is per module, and then these are the extra bits you're going to need, and you'll need a varying amount of them depending on how big you make your system. Now, if we get around the back here, you can see the modules to this. You can see it is a little bit more complicated than System 1A. It's not too bad, uh, to be honest. It's, it, relatively speaking, uh, it's reasonably good. Uh, but one of the major flaws for this one, the difference between 1A and 1B, for 1A over here, you need just one of each item that you want to stack to get you started. For 1B, you need 41. So an extra 40 items of whatever it is you're stacking are required. Now, there are pros to it too. It uses less hoppers because there's a water system, for example. Um, and, you know, although you need 41 items, items if you're doing something like say a mob farm where you're going to get a lot of items anyway that may not be a problem so it's just two different ways of doing it depending on what the needs are in your world okay next up we have system two this is for your non-stackable items such as tools weapons and armor so with this system right here if you were to put in say a sword and 16 ender pearls the sword would come down here the ender pearls would go up there so this will only take the items that stack to one item so that's tools weapons armor things like that now the materials list for system two is this so not too bad at all you may want some extra hoppers and chests the reason for that is if you say that one is not enough because for example if we put like full gold in here and full diamond armor in here as well the whole lot it would all come out into this chest so it doesn't sort of have like diamond helmets in one and then diamond like leggings in another or whatever it will all come out into the same output what you could do though is instead of running this hopper directly down into here you could run it this way into a line of hoppers going downwards and then a line of chests in front of those so you'd have it basically like this over here where you've got the hoppers going into chests in this manner that is if you wanted to have a lot of non-stackable item storage anything stackable including ender poles and eggs and things that stack to 16 uh, any classic you know the cobblestone the wood all of that stuff will go right the way through the system and end up here and again i will show you that in more detail when we look at this if you click on this in the timestamp next up we have system number three and this is for filtering items like ender poles and buckets and things like that that stack to 16. Uh, so the materials needed for this one are as follows a few more things needed here it is a little bit more complex as we see around the back here these are the redstone workings behind what's going on with this item filter system uh, but it does work for those items of 16 which are a bit more tricky thus the extra things now if you were to put in something here that's like an ender pearl and egg of course it would come down and it would end up in here in the non-stackable items output however if you put in like a sword or a helmet or a tool they would also end up in here so it actually stacks all of the non-stackable items together unlike this one which would only do things like the swords and tools and things um, and then obviously your, your non-stackable items like uh, sorry your stackable items like cobblestone wood whatever they will come right the way through the system 
Again, I'll go into that in more detail if you click system three below. Okay guys, item sorting system number one. Uh, let's start off by having a quick look at why this works. This is of course for your stackable items. Now we have in here 21 items right here like this that are not gonna be in the filter system. Now what they do is they send out a signal strength here. You can see this comparator is reading that signal strength there and basically sending out just enough to have this powered. Now with one extra item in here, what would happen is this signal strength would increase and that means that then this power would actually reach this repeater to power this torch, which is currently obviously on. When the power hits it, that turns the torch off, which unlocks this hopper. Because this is on, this hopper is locked. That's why that diamond there is not going into the chest right now. So what we have here is the item filter that says only diamonds can come in. So a diamond might come down and along like this, go into the system, increasing the power, turning that redstone torch off, therefore unlocking the hopper, allowing the diamond to pass through and into the chest. Of course, the only items that could possibly get through the system are the diamonds or the diorite slabs. And that is why you need to make sure that if you're using diorite slabs as I am here, it's an item that's not gonna be anywhere in the line of filter systems if you extend this out. And again, yes, you can extend this out and you can have a long line of them if you want. Uh, there's no reason why you couldn't also bend this around and, and do a corner and uh, have an L shape or even a square if you wanted. Um, obviously, just leaving enough space for the workings behind it with the redstone and all of that good stuff. Um, so uh, in this chest right here, you can see I have all of these items which are part of the filter system and then the cactus which is not. So if I turn that off, unpowering the hopper, this is going to allow the items to go through. We can get rid of that, it's not part of the system, I was just allowing it to uh, you know, lock those items in. So uh, as you can see, I'm just showing you an option here. You can have a chest, obviously a single chest where the items go into. You can have double chests like this and because of the new Minecraft mechanic, you can easily have those next to each other. Um, or you could even, if you got rid of the sign and place a chest here, you could have double chests coming out this way as well. So a few other sort of options there to increase your storage. And if a double chest isn't enough and you want more again, then you can simply go one out like this into a hopper and down this way. Now, when you do this, the items will stack from the bottom. So our five diamonds have gone through the system and ended up in here, and it will stack from the bottom upwards. Of course, once this chest gets full, it will also use all of these slots before then filling up this chest right here. So if you've got like something like cobblestone that you know you're gonna get tons of, you may wanna have a line of these. And again, there's no limit to how long this line could be for all of the cobblestone filters. And all you need is the filter up the top here, and it will filter for all the items going through, of course. So in each of these chests right now, we'll have the different items that we're filtering. So for example, gold here corresponds to the gold we have there. As I mentioned, you will get one item stuck in here each time. You're welcome to take this out or you can leave it in there. Essentially, uh, next time a gold comes through there, if there's no gold in there, it'll get stuck in there. That's just how that works. But at the end of the day, even if you count that, it's still only two items compared to the 41 over there or 42 if you also count the second hopper. Uh, and then anything that doesn't get stacked, so in this case, our cactus comes through to the end here. So this is how it works. It is reasonably hopper intensive, but if you've got an iron farm, perhaps that's not a problem for you. So now I'm gonna show you how to build one of these if that's what you're going for. Hey guys, just a very quick break in the video to say if you are enjoying this video, please do consider liking, subscribing. It's really appreciated and it really helps me out. Okay, that's all. Let's get back to what we are doing. Okay, so to build system one, the first thing you're gonna need is your input, whether that's from a chest or a farm or something like that. And you're gonna want your output chest where anything is gonna go that you don't get filtered. So this may be bigger or smaller for you depending on your needs. Now the items in my hotbar right now are again the materials is for this if you want to pause at this time. Multiply each of these items by the number of items you're filtering. So if there's 10 items going into a filter, you'll need 10 times each of these. So you'd need 42 of the direct slabs or whatever block you're using, you know, 40 redstone dust, 10 chests or maybe more if you're going for extra storage and so on and so forth. So once you have this in place, you can actually get started right away here. So what you wanna do is come under this and place two blocks down and one across, just like that. Now these two here were just temporary, so we can actually get rid of those. We're then gonna place a block here like this and a temporary block underneath it, which is very useful because we can place a block on all sides of that block and then get rid of it. So you'll be left with a shape that looks like this. Now at this point, what you wanna do is place down a comparator on top of there, just like that. And you can place a hopper facing into that comparator, just in this direction here. So there it is going into there. Now your two redstone dust, you go one here and one here, with your repeater facing in this direction, heading into this block here, where there will be a redstone torch underneath. 
Now comes the chest. So what you can do is you can simply place a block there as a temporary block and a chest if you want to just run a hopper going into that and have either one chest or just one double chest uh, if you place that there uh, of storage for the item. If, however, you want to have more, what you can do is go ahead and place a chest in front of this one, get rid of those, and then place another hopper going in here like this. And then you'll simply come down as much as you want to and have a few of these. So if you're going to do this, you go down like this and then run them into the back. Now these of course could all be double chests if you want them to be and uh, there's no limit to how many you can have there. Okay, very good. So now the hopper here that is facing into this comparator right here, you want to go ahead and open that up and place one, two, three, and the 18 there like that. And this gap here is for whatever item you're filtering. So if this was filtering redstone dust, we place our redstone dust up there. And now what I'll do is we go one, two, three, four, and five placed in there. You'll see that one will get stuck in here and the rest will have come down to the bottom here and there they are, the other four. Now, of course, you then just repeat the process. If you're gonna do this, leave one gap in between and go ahead and build like in the same fashion here. So this will be temporary block, temporary block, and so on and so forth. Now, when you're building these, the best way of doing this really, if you're in uh, survival mode, would be to build your temporary block there, and that one there, that one there, your temporary block there, and that one there, and then your temporary block there, that one there. And then what you wanna do is place your repeater down first of all there. Go ahead, place your comparator down on top there, your redstone dust, like this. And then you can come underneath, place that in there and your redstone torch there. And uh, obviously don't forget to put the hopper going into it and the one underneath into the chest again. So hopefully that makes sense for system one. That is how you build it. Again, you can build that uh, as long as you like and uh, have the extra storage if you want. Okay, so system 1B is a little bit more complicated to build as you can kind of tell just from looking at it really in comparison to system 1. Uh, it is a little bit more compact. You can have the chests here right next to each other like this. And if you don't go in an L shape, it can be very compact. I just wanted to do this to show you that it's possible. Um, but if you kept this going in a big long line, you would need an ice every now and again because obviously water will only run for eight blocks and this does rely on water. The ice, by the way, is the item will come through here, it'll slide across the ice and hit the next water stream. So that is why we do this. Uh, but if you had this in a big long line, you could essentially have your chest here like this, one gap and then a load more chests like that. Now, uh, again, this one here, you can have the extra storage like I've done here with the double chest going downwards. So that is no problem at all. Um, or you can just stick to one chest. It, it really just depends on what you need. Um, so yeah, this is very flexible, but it does require some more materials. Here are the materials needed again. Um, so as I said, this here, you'll need no matter how big or small your system is. These here are per item you're going to store. And these are some extras that are used for building uh, up the sort of sides and stuff like that. Now uh, I've got uh, glass for, for my uh, sort of, you know, what's holding the water in, but you could use the solid blocks that I, I'm using. So again, it just depends on which way you want to go with that. Anyway, let's uh, show you guys how to actually build this if this is the one you want to go for. Okay, so for system 1B, you wanna start with a dropper. This is gonna shoot your items into a water stream and off into the system. I'll show you how to do that in a second. You wanna place a block under underneath like that. Now one in front here, and that's where the water system is going to start. Then from this block we place, we wanna go one, two, three, there we go. And we can get rid of that one at this stage. We then wanna go one, two up like this, and we can place a block here and a block here, very good. Then get rid of this one and this one. So it starts off looking a bit like a five on a dice. Then if we go around the back here, you wanna place one, two, and then a temporary block here and a third block there we can get rid of that one. So from the front, this will now look like this, the five with those two bits filled in. And from the back, it'll look like this. Okay, so now for the redstone circuit, it's not too difficult. We basically, all we need is a comparator going into that block there with a redstone dust there and a redstone dust there, just like that. Then you wanna get a repeater going in this direction here with another redstone dust there. Then make sure you right click this repeater at least once. You can do two or three if you want. Don't do four because otherwise you've done nothing. Um, but you just need that little bit of delay in there. Now you can actually test the system straight away to see if it's working. If I go ahead and put in three redstone dust, there we go. 
three redstone dust get shot out so if it's shooting out you know it's working and uh, at that stage that is is done now what i'm going to do here is just put in a hopper there with a chest on top so this is just like the input chest for you uh, so if you're looking to have this uh maybe above ground or something with your storage system below what you may want to do is run like a load of hoppers up in a long line like this and then put your chest there so this might all be hidden underground but basically just have this chest somewhere you can access it as this is where you're going to input those items into the system okay so from from here what you want to do is come out a couple of blocks just give yourself a little bit of a buffer system then you need to place these temporary blocks here so all of these blocks we're placing right now will be temporary blocks do it for the length that you want your storage system to be uh, and then finally what you can have on the end here is a chest and this will be your output chest where any unfiltered items go uh, so then what you want to do is go ahead and place hoppers down here so we can go one two three four five leave a gap and then go one two three four in this case now that gap right there is going to be filled with ice so that's just me knowing that that's where the water is going to run out so we'll place an ice in there and once we've done that we can go ahead and get rid of all of these blocks right here so this is your line of hoppers make sure that they are facing in the same orientation as i have them right here that one on the end we can have facing into the chest so that any of the items that come through here will end up in there okay very good so uh, once you have that in place what you want to do next is go ahead and come underneath here and place a temporary block there now what we're going to do is start by placing the chest here that is where the uh, sort of output item is going to go once it's been filtered so these are all going to be your filtered items along the front we can get rid of that right now replace it with a hopper and then we can go ahead and make the structure on the back for the redstone which is one two three like that then you want to have a temporary block under here and place a block on all three remaining sides of it before we delete it. So it will look something like this when this bit here is done. Okay, so next up you want a comparator on top of there, just like that, with one, two, and three redstone dust going down there. Then you want to go ahead and place a repeater on top of there going into this block right here in this orientation with a redstone torch there just like that. So that is the system. Now, if you're going to build multiple of these, of course, all in a row, then you can go ahead and place down the blocks on top here like this and just repeat the system. So for the next one here, once again, you've got your comparator, your dust goes down here. There we go. Then you're going to want to place a block there and a block there. Go ahead and put your repeater on there and your torch in here. Now, what you don't want to do is place loads of these blocks all in a row like this, or you won't be able to get in to do the repeater if you have too many of them. So I suggest you do each module one at a time uh, if you're able to do that. And yeah, you just repeat this process for as many items as you're going to have. Now, I'm going to use glass just because it looks uh, a little bit easier to show you guys when we're doing the building. But this is the next bit, right? It's to get a glass and place a glass uh, temporarily there. And we can box this in. And this is just to hold our water system in place. So we'll go ahead and put all this down to the end here. We can, of course, have glass on top of the chest at the end as well. Another nice thing about using glass and come back the other way until it's totally boxed in. Now, with the water itself, if we go ahead and grab a water bucket and place that down here, that's where you place it on this block here. You'll see it comes to an end there as we hit the ice. So once you do that, here's what you want to do. Go ahead and grab a slab. We use a beautiful prismarine slab for this demonstration. Place it on top there, so on the top half of that, and then just place another water there like that. And it will go until the end or as long as it is that you're making it. The final thing to do, just go ahead and place a solid block on top of here, like this, and get rid of that one there. Now what this does is as the dropper shoots items out, it just stops any chance of the item sort of coming out over the top here or whatever keeps it in the water system and along it will go so that is exactly the same system that we built over here of course over here i did do one as a bit of a bend just to show you guys with that one there we just did it straight so there are different ways that you can do this but that is how that system is going to work so once you have that system built what you want to do is go ahead and access this hopper right here and this is where you're going to put in four items that you're not going to be using so we've gone for direct slabs and then 41 or more of the items you do want filtered if i put more in they'll just pass through into the chest until it hits 41 and then it will remain locked and we do that for each of the ones that we want to filter and that's why as i said we do need the 41 items for this as opposed to the one for this other system and uh, then anything that you don't put in here so it's, uh, that doesn't get filtered will go through to the end so that's how you finish off that little system there to uh, to have that complete 
Okay, next we have the non-stackable items, system number two. Uh, the materials list for this again is right here. And uh, what this does, as I said, if you put in like a sword here, it will come through and go down into there. Um, so we have at the moment these items here, some stackable, some non-stackable. If I go ahead and destroy this so that this hopper is no longer locked, these items can start passing through the system. Starting with the five cobblestone that comes right through to this section, and then your stackable items go into here. Now, once again, you will get an item stuck in here, and it will just be the most recent item to go through. So if I grab a diamond sword right now and put that into the system, you'll see the diamond sword is in there, and our leather cap has gone down into there. Again, you can if you want to take this out, uh, but it just means whatever the next one to go through the system is will end up in there. It's just a byproduct of the system. Here it is around the back, not too difficult at all to build. Uh, so for this one, I'm just going to quickly show you this rather than going through a block by block tutorial as I don't think it is necessary. But essentially you have your input chest with your hoppers underneath until you hit the output chest. And then somewhere along that chain, you want to go ahead and put this filter system. Now before I show you this, I do want to just mention that what you might want to do is if you're using say this system right here, you could do this first. So that way you could still have all stackable items going down into a load of double chests, then all your different filtered items that you have, and then anything that doesn't get filtered coming through to the end. So you may want to tack this onto the front of system 1A, and uh, then you've sort of got the best of both worlds. But as you can see right here, this is our hopper line, and uh, this hopper underneath points downwards into this chest. The comparator goes along the top here with one, two redstone dust there onto this block which has a redstone torch. And if I just stand like this right here, you'll get the general shape of it. You can see there's a repeater there going into this block, the comparator going into this block. I'll show you from the other side as well. I'm sure this will suffice and you'll be able to build it from this if you want to. Okay, so finally we have the more complicated system number three, which is of course for all your non-stackable items, whether that's your you know eggs and buckets that stack to 16, uh, or your swords and things like that, and they'll all come through into this chest right here. Again, here's the materials list for this one right here. You can pause it there if you want to make a note of that. And just a quick look around the back to see this one right here. Now, this is a little bit more complex. You can see there's a little bit more going on here. So uh, what I'll do now is show you guys how to build this if that's what you're going for. Okay, so system number three, let's see how to build this one. It's a little bit complicated, so I'm actually going to do this in little steps with you guys to hopefully make it as simple as possible to follow. Basically, you want your input here with a load of uh, hoppers going through to your output chest here. This would be for all the stackable items or your cobble and stuff like that. And everything non-stackable, whether it's a sword or an egg, is going to end up down in here okay so what you want to do if we come around the back of this thing you want to go two to the right so not this block here but this one right here and we can place a block down there like that with a temporary block here another two there and another temporary block there and a block there get rid of these two so this is the shape you're going to be building here just like this then you want to go ahead and get a comparator there with a repeater going into that block there so this is the first bit, that's how it should look at this stage. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is place a redstone torch here with a block on top of there. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five in total until we're back on top of the hopper, getting rid of that block there and that block there. So it will look a little bit like this. Then you can go ahead and place one there, temporary block with a block on top, a block there and a block there. Again, you can get rid of that one underneath for now. So it will look like this at this stage. So hopefully I'm showing you guys here, that all makes sense. And then you want to place a repeater there and a repeater there. So at this stage, it's going to look like this. This is stage two, if you like, complete for this process. For stage three, you want to go ahead and place two blocks there and then a block here and one, two, and three. So that's how that's going to look now, uh, this little bit right here. It's going to look like this. I'm just spending some time so that hopefully it's nice and obvious what you're doing. Then you want a comparator going into that block there. So it's going to look like that. A comparator there that you're going to right click excuse me there right click that to put it on subtraction mode place a redstone dust there and a redstone dust there so this is how this now looks at this stage this is what you should be seeing right now now for the cauldron bit so for this bit what you want to do is go ahead and place your cauldron down fill it with water and then take one water bucket out now that just gives the exact right comparator output for this system to work basically so that's why you need to do that so once you have all of that system in place there what you want to do is come back around the front and go to the hopper that has the block on top of it here right click that hopper and put in 20 of whatever items are not going to be going through this system so i've used direct slabs so you could name something in an anvil as well to make 100 percent sure but it needs to be something that is not going through a system at all so what we'll do then is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll put some things in here into the system. So these are all different uh, non-stackable items, of course. And then they're all going to pass through here and end up in here. You'll see that minus one egg, because as again, 
basically this gets stuck in here uh, now that's not an issue because if we go ahead and put in something like a golden sword what will happen is a golden sword will push the egg through and the golden sword gets stuck there and that will keep happening but all of your non-stackable items will go in here and if we go ahead and grab uh, let's see grab a few blocks of something that is stackable and put that into the system you'll see they will come right the way through and end up in the end here uh, this is for some previous testing there's a couple of fails there guys <laughs> let's say this one was more complicated to build but uh hopefully with that tutorial you guys are now going to be good if today's video helped you or you just enjoyed it please do consider liking and subscribing it really is greatly appreciated guys thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you in the next one if you like to play minecraft java version why not consider joining my server there's now 150 people that have access to that server we have a very active community a lot of people on there all the time and it's basically a bit like the hermitcraft server we've got people that record it's a very vanilla server. If you want to check it out, there'll be more information on that down in the description.